It is the 14th of the 1st, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Uh, let's go ahead and start on SOT.net. Western professor doubts global warming. Easterbrook has studied climate change from the ice ages to the present day. His focus is studying the movements of glaciers from climate change, as well as doing isotopic analysis of the elements found in ice cores. He believes the Earth is currently in a cooling period. He continues to research climate change with an international team of over 50 members. And it goes on to say basically um, global warming is a scam. We're actually in a cooling period. Mystery booming noises leave residents and houses reeling in Costa Rica. Monday morning started off with a bang for residents of Central Valley when a loud and yet unidentified series of booms rattled windows about 30 minutes after midnight. And uh, Costa Rica also had a volcano erupt, so that might have been part of the thing later on in the day. Um, T-U-R-R-I-A-L-B-A -R -R volcano. Uh, it was, it spewed a great a cloud possibly containing ash Thursday afternoon resulting in the closure of the park, of course. They issued a yellow alert. Um, the extinction pro protocol also got some financial stuff going on as far as the financial, financial markets close in turmoil as downgrades spread across the Eurozone. And uh, Standard & Poor's, of course, the corrupt, um, or whatever, downgrading and the dominoes are falling. And uh, yeah, you better check your bank. Here it comes. Parties over, France prestigious credit rating downgraded, others to follow. Uh, yeah. And we got dead fish wash up in, in the Bahamas. And scientists find a new rift between New Mexico and Colorado. Geology is active, active and capable of generating earthquakes. Uh, so basically there's another big fault line they've discovered up through New Mexico uh, and through Mexico. Colorado, that kind of thing up along the Rockies, which would be obvious to me if you look at the map. Over to the Watchers, uh, Phobos Grunt probe begins to enter, entering the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, stranded Phobos Grunt, one of the largest objects to re-enter the atmosphere in a decade, begins entering Earth's atmosphere. It would probably begin its descent on Sunday evening, but the latest estimate of photo scrum could enter the atmosphere over Argentina and have its fragments splash down over the Atlantic Ocean. But again, everybody's still guessing. They don't know exactly what this thing's going to do. And uh, quite a few people are looking at it. Uh, got some more volcanoes opening, uh, waking up in Ecuador. There's new activity recorded at... Uh, Reventador volcano, as well as Sangay, an ongoing um, Tungurahu volcano in Ecuador. New reports are coming from nearby Colombian, yeah, and uh, definitely the whole area is gearing up uh, volcanically. Tropical cyclone Heidi made landfall in Western Australia about 4.30 a.m. local time. Uh, as a Category 2, bringing gusts of wind up to 131 kilometers per hour, or, or a 91 miles an hour, and all that that entails. And that's about all new they have. Over to the RSOE, um, forest fires in Australia, state of Victoria, apparently a bunch of cropland was, was uh, burned due to a power line shortage or something to that effect. Um, of course, the volcano activity in Costa Rica, flash flooding in Thailand, um, the extreme weather that was in Georgia, hailstorms in Nepal, and that's about all new they have going on climate-wise. Over to the nuclear stuff, uh, Japanese lawmaker, quote, uh, government may be concealing recent explosion at reactor number four. Uh, Fukushima Daiichi, um, they're saying it might have been a, a gas explosion, not an actual um, meltdown kind of thing in the number four storage pools. Local news, uh, 
there are radioactive tissue boxes at Bed and Bath and Beyond. What else is taking place? Question mark. Uh, I've been going on and on about this. Um, there are actually stories out where they are still producing parts for your cell phones in um, exclusion zones in the Fukushima prefecture. Um, things are still being manufactured and shipped around the world. Um, cars, uh, the works, mostly electronic pieces. I'm sure it's a lot more extensive than they're telling us. Australian government confirms radiation cloud over east coast of Australia. Radiation spike eight times normal reported concerns about Fukushima fallout. Uh, that means, yes, it is in the southern hemisphere. TV abnormalities doubled in radiation contaminated areas after meltdown for to six percent of every new generation of mice affected and they have a video on that. Um, Kyoto 300 tons of highly contaminated water found under reactor number three. TEPCO checking on how he got there and that's the MOX fuel reactor of course the one with the plutonium. And WSJ radioactive plague for locust enters in Japan Results astonishing, says researcher, and basically they're saying um, locusts are a delicacy in Japan as, as a minority. Not everybody eats them, but a lot of people do. Um, and the locusts normally eat on the rice fields in Japan, and people eat the locusts, of course, but they are finding they are full of cesium. And uh, they did a study, basically, it's, you know, you, you got to read this story, it's pretty crazy, but the locusts are contaminated. Uh, in Japan with cesium, don't eat them. Uh, radiation levels double within 20 days of decontamination by Japanese forces. That means the contamination is ongoing and building and uh, the insanity goes on and on. Uh, that's about all I have for you tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please uh, leave your comments or attach your videos below. Uh, enjoy what you can, everybody. I'll see you next time. Thanks.